guys, I'm Alison Pryor and today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful painting with a sky background and all these pretty little flowers. Nice, bright, cheerful painting that you will learn in easy steps. And you will experiment with your colors and with your different brushes. So this is a fun painting to do today, so let's get started. So all you need for this painting today is your primary colors of red, yellow, and blue. And you will need uh, some sap green and you will need black and white. Uh, although I haven't used much black, but it's nice to have your, your colors on your palette just to have in case you need them, okay? And you need some brushes. And all you need is a bristle brush. It's a size 8 or 10, 8 or 10 will do, and you have a half inch, I think it's a half an inch, flat chiseled edge brush, and uh, also a liner brush, you'll need a liner brush or a wigger, oh, yeah, a wigger brush, you see it, okay, and then you need a filbert brush for your flowers, and that's a size 0, so it's pretty small and just a small flat brush, chisel edge brush, so a couple of different sizes. So that's about it for now, and why don't we get started on this beautiful painting. Now all we need to do for this painting is get a really nice blue sky background. And we're going to mix some blue paint. I got ultramarine blue, lots of white to make it nice and bright. A little teeny little bit of red to give it some color and more white, so as much white as you want. And we'll just put that on there. I'm going to put some clouds in this background, this kind of sky, because the flowers are going to be in front of the sky as if we're looking up at them. So you can get that on any way you can. There we go. So you just want to get that background on there. And you can go any way you want because you're just doing a background, but I like to go back and forth with long strokes and that gives me a really nice soft background. So I'm just mixing up my paints as I go along. Not really worried about if it's exactly the same color or anything like that. There we go. Good. Good practice for your skies. Some more blue, some more white, a little bit of red. Let me get down there. I'm just using um what size is that? That's probably a size eight bristle brush. Eight or ten is good. You see I'm getting some lights and some darks. Good. Let's get that on there. So we need more white, and you just go ahead and get some more white and go back and forth. Good. So lots of white and some blue. Little teeny weeny bit of red. Good. Make sure you fill up your brush really good because you got a 11 by 14 canvas is what I'm using. And if you're doing a 16 by 20 canvas, you're going to need a bigger brush and you're going to need more paint. If you're using a smaller canvas, you need a smaller brush and less paint. That's why I use 11 by 14s in my videos most of the time because I can get it done fast for you. And I use less paint and it's just much faster. There we go. Much faster and don't take up as much paint in one painting. And you still, because it's 11 by 14, you can see lots of detail. Of course, the bigger your canvas is, the more detail you can put in your painting. The smaller your canvas, the less detail you can get in your painting. Yes. So we'll keep putting our white and blue on here. A teeny weeny bit of red. There we go. 
Now, if you're one of these people, but sometimes this happens to them, if it starts to dry up on you and you're having a hard time getting it to move, they just missed your painting. So all you got to do is get a misting bottle and just a small misting bottle and uh, just mist. Yep. And just keep misting it not so that it, it's damp but not soaking wet because you don't want your paint end to end up transparent. Good. So just get out there. Now, that's nice. I like it for it. Now, just go into some white, just on your dirty brush, just pure white, okay? And what we'll do is we'll make some soft clouds. Just see, as it's all wet, you're, you can only barely see the clouds, but just make little circles. That's enough for that one. More paint. We can come back and highlight it after. And we'll just add some more. Make circles. There we go. Nice big fluffy cloud there. Circles. See? Circle. With more paint. And just make a circle. Circle, circle, circle. As if you're trying to clean off your brush on, on your on your painting here. It's like you're trying to clean your brush off. So just get more white paint. And then just make this touch anywhere you want and make a soft fluffy cloud. There we go. Good. Make them nice and soft in the background. We don't want the, the clouds to be sticking out because the flowers are going to be the main focus of your painting. Good. Some more white if you need it. Let's see, let's see. Where do you want to put a cloud? If you already put one there and you can't barely see it, just go back over. I'm just making little circles. That's all I'm doing. Just scrubbing my brushes if I'm trying to clean it. Touch. And as long as everything is wet, it's important that everything be wet. So mist it so it won't dry up on you, okay? And if it does dry up on you, put more paint, more background color paint on your... All right. Little circles. There we go. Circle, circle, circle. One big happy sky. Okay. Good. See? Little tiny cloud. All I'm doing is picking up some white paint on my dirty brush. The background is blue, so it's going to tone down to white. And you're going to make these soft, fluffy sky clouds. There we go. So as long as you leave some blue in the background there, between the clouds, It'll look like just some fluffy, soft cloud. Just have to pick a spot and just make a couple little circles. There we go. Just simple as pie. No need to get too fussy. I think that'll do it for me. See how nice that is? So simple and easy. Now then we'll let that background dry and then we'll put our flowers on top of that really pretty background. So next we're going to get the stems in for our flowers and I'm going to use a liner brush or they also call it a rigger brush and I'm going to take my dark green I'm going to drag it through my dark green and I'm going to turn it over and drag it through my yellow and then I'm going to pick a spot where I want the flower start at the bottom with dark side down, touch and pull. And you get a nice stem. And we'll do another one. Pull through your green and yellow. And maybe the stem will come up and over. You don't want them to be all straight. You want to have some crooked ones too. Fill up your brush again. 
And then we'll have maybe another small one over here. If it don't come off, just go back over it again. Let's see, let's see. And we'll try another one. Maybe coming up over here. Touch and pull. So you get some stems. We'll make some smaller ones. Maybe there's another one on the edge here. Just a small one. And we can add some more when we decide, but we'll make our smaller ones now. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. And always get reload your brush so you can get more stems. Maybe there's a bigger one up here. Going over here. So that's enough stems for now. Now looking at it, I think I might need a little bit. I'm going to reload my brush and I think I'm going to make this one here bigger. So you can always look over and see what you think. Might just want some higher ones. Yeah, that's better. Kind of balances out a bit better. There we go. Now let's take a, let's see, let's see. Let's take some yellow and we'll make a center for our flower. Make a circle. Good. We'll just fill that in with some yellow. For now. Good. We'll do one at a time. So I'm just using a small round brush, as you can see. It's round. And we will dab on a little bit more yellow on the top of that. Might even add a bit of white to brighten it up. Just tap it on there, give it a bit of texture. A little bit more white. And we may, when that dries, we might add more. Good. Now what we can do to make this a little easier, we can take some chalk and we'll put a stroke here. Can't see that, I'll get you another piece of chalk. So we'll put a stroke here, and we'll put a stroke here, and here, and here, just to get us started so we can see what we're doing. See? Now let's make, let's get some red. So we'll go white first, a little bit of red, pink it up. No need to totally mix it together. Just have it so that it's sort of separated because we don't want it to be too red. And we will take our filbert brush, little filbert brush, and we'll take, start here, touch and pull down towards the center and just lift. That's one. And we'll take another one. Touch, pull in, lift, touch, pull in, and lift. Another one here, touch, pull in, and lift. And we'll put some in between there. So we'll just take another one here, touch, pull in, and another one. You have to reload your brush all the time to get the uh, get it nice and wet so you can get those flowers in there. So in between the ones that you just did, this will make it easy for you. Touch, pull in and lift. And again, in between this one. Touch, pull in makes it much easier when you put 
your strokes on first with the chalk and then you can get your flower a little easier there we go it's coming together filbert brush makes it nice and round on the top there and you can straighten them out the way you want come back and redo them okay Yeah. get that one there and that one there it's coming together so let's go into red just pick up some red on your dirty brush and let's go with a little tiny bit of blue just to kind of purple it up a little bit mostly red and what we're going to do is we're going to go around that yellow with some of this reddish color there we go good marvelous wipe off your brush a bit so we don't have too much paint and pull that back into the flower back into the flower look there we go now want to catch it before it dries see you get a pretty flower we're going to go back over some of this again now I'm just pulling it out into the flower there we go now to make that flower even prettier I'm going to add just white to my brush it's still dirty and I'm going to join these two up here to make a bigger flower right here Join those together, come right down into the pink that you just made. There we go. And I'm going to join these two together. See the filbert brush gives that nice top. And join these two together. It's pretty. Join these two together. And these two make adjustments as you go along and these two are picking up paint as I go along okay We got one standing alone. Oh no. There we go. You just make adjustments. See, it looks nicer when it's full like that. Now we're just going to add our shadows again. So I'm just going to add more red here. Go around and around we go pull up pull up pick up some white if you got to it's too pink pull that into the flower pull up pull out pull out and out and out I'm just pulling it out into the flower that's all just so that we get some nice shadows now good
If you want more red around here, you just add more. Just trying to get some shadow in around that area there. When you put the shadow on, then you just pull it out into the flower. Nice. So you wouldn't think it would be so much that you have to do, but you can go back and forth until you get what you're happy with. Right? There's no rules. You just do what makes you happy. And if you're happy, then your flower is happy. So clean off your brush this time. And pick up pure white. And just add it to the tops of that flower. Start at the top and just pull down. Pull in. That makes it brighter on the top. Just the tops. There we go. Just the top. You want it nice and bright on the edges there. And that way you don't destroy your shadows. It's just coming back in with pure white. And that dries, it might even add more white to the edges. Yep. That's it. Just go in and in. And in. And it's starting to come together. Painting is a lot of uh, experimenting. Now I'm turning my brush, I'm, I'm staying flat on the top here, but as I come in, I'm going to turn my brush horizontal, like that, instead of that. And I'm going to slide that in there a little bit. And if I lose my red, I'll just go get some more. I want to do it, you know, so that you can see what I'm doing, so you can see if how you can adjust things when they go wrong, <laughs> you know, so that you don't be wondering. Even after you do the video, you'd be like, how do I fix that? It didn't come out the same way. And that's how you do it. Just go back and forth until you get everything you're looking for. There you go. So I'll add more yellow to the center here. Just tap. Little bits of yellow there. Some white. There we go, I'll give it a little bit of a texture. Good. And now, take a toothpick or the end of your brush and dip it into yellow. Get some yellow on there. Just make these little dots up on the top here. little flowers. You may have to fill it up a couple of times. There we go. Good. Now, that's one pretty flower. 